Hi, I'm Jin Kai Chiu from University of British Columbia. I know that some people won't watch the video till the end, so I have to say something at the beginning. I'm looking for postdoc or faculty position in North America next year, which is 2015. If you have any opening, please let me know. Today, I'm gonna provide a short introduction about our recent article in Archive. The title is "Classification of Refractional Symmetry Protected Topological Symmetry Metal." And a nodal superconductor. The archive number is one four zero eight four six four two. This work was done in the cooperation with Andreas Schneider in Max Planck. This is the outline of our paper. First, we know tenfold classification of topological insulators and superconductors, which can be extended to classify topological semi-metals and nodal superconductors. Furthermore, by introducing refractional symmetry, the classification can also be extended to crystallized topological insulators and superconductors. In this paper, we combine these two ideas to classify refractional symmetry protective topological semi-metals and nodal superconductors. This is the tenfold classification table. First column presents the classification of topological insulators and topological superconductors. D is a spatial dimension. Let us discuss the classification of topological semi-metals and nodal superconductors. The classification depends on location of Fermi surface and the co-dimensional p of the Fermi surface. Let us subtract Fermi surface dimension d f s from spatial dimension d. First, we consider Fermi surface of high symmetry point. Particle hole symmetry and time reversal symmetry operations switch k to minus k. Symmetry point are invariant under these operations, such as zero zero point and a pi pi point. This figure shows Fermi points located of high symmetry points. Fermi surface dimension is zero. And the spatial dimension is two, so co-dimensional is two, so it's also showing this figure. Another example we can have like a spatial dimension three and the co-dimension is two. Then we have Fermi dimension is one, so we have Fermi line. The topology of Fermi surfaces of high symmetry points is classified by different co-dimension p, as shown in the third column. Second possible location of Fermi surfaces is high symmetry points. In lattice model, all symmetry points possess Fermi points. For example, in two-dimensional square lattice system, four symmetry points must have four Fermi points. In this case, according to these references, topology of Fermi surface at high symmetry points is classified by different co-dimension p, as shown in the second column. Now we switch gears to discuss refractional symmetry protected topological gap system, that is insulator and the superconductor system. The classification is showing the first column. Classification of the refractional gap system depends on the mirror symmetry operator Camus or anti-Camus with non-spatial symmetry. Non-spatial symmetry means time reversal symmetry, particle hole symmetry, and chiral symmetry. Spatial symmetry means a crystallized symmetry, like a sieve rotation symmetry or a refractional symmetry. Here, the label R plus indicates mirror symmetry operator Camus with the chiral symmetry operator in class A3. Similarly, R minus indicates the anti-commutation relation when there are more than one non-spatial symmetries. The first subscript of R indicates the commutation or anti-commutation relations. Between time reversal operator and the mirror symmetry operator. Similarly, the second subscript of R is for the particle hole symmetry operator. Now we have the classification of the topological capillary systems with non-spatial symmetries and the gap faces with refractional symmetry. So it is natural to consider the classification of the refractional symmetry protected topological semi-metals and the nodal superconductors. The classification depends on three factors. First, whether the mirror symmetry operator commutes or anti-commutes with 
not spatial symmetry operators. Second, location of the Fermi surfaces. Third, co-dimension of the Fermi surfaces. Only locations of Fermi surfaces were not discussed previously. Let's talk about locations of Fermi surfaces. Three types of Fermi surface locations provide three different classifications. First, Fermi surfaces are located at high symmetry points within the mirror plane. In this example, the Fermi points are at 0, 0, 0, pi, pi, 0, 0, pi, 0, and pi, 0, 0 points within the green mirror plane. Second, the Fermi surfaces are of the high symmetry point within mirror planes. Third, Fermi surfaces are outside the mirror planes. In this case, the classification is valid only for Fermi points. Fermi lines or higher up dimensional Fermi surface won't work. These three figures below show Fermi surface locations in different spatial dimensions D and the code dimensions P. Red regions represent Fermi surfaces. Blue regions are for the definition of topological invariant. The detail of the invariant is in our paper. Here is our result. When Fermi surfaces are in the mirror planes, the classification is identical to refractional topological insulators and superconductors with dimensional shifting. The classification of the Fermi surface in high symmetry points is shown in the second column. The classification of high symmetry points is shown in the third column. However, for Fermi surfaces outside the mirror plane, the classification, which is completely different from refractional topological insulator, is shown here. Let me emphasize again, in this case, we consider only Fermi points, so the spatial dimension D and the co-dimension D are identical. I hope that this video is tantalizing enough. Even without reading our paper, people can understand our classification tables. In this paper, we derive this classification table by topological invariant method and the Dirac method. We review tenfold classification of the Kepler system and the refraction symmetry protect topological insulator and superconductor classification. Furthermore, we explain exotic topological invariants NZ2, CLE2, and uh, TZ2. We provide examples to demonstrate topological features of the refractional Kepler systems. The last thing I would like to mention, if the citation reaches a hundred, I would like to make another video talk about the details of this 27 pages paper.